Hello everybody and welcome to Jody Jean's Kitchen. I have a nice menu for you today that we spoke about before going to the grocery store and winging it. Today I am making a shrimp and cream sauce with sauteed vegetables over top of puff pastry. And for our starter, we are going to do what's really hot right now is a pickle martini. And I am going to use myself and you as a guinea pig because we are going to try to start doing some sort of this recipe at the restaurant. And the restaurant I speak of is Ippy's Restaurant in Rocky Mount, Virginia. Don't forget, if you haven't came out to see us, please do so. We have a live entertainment on the weekends, and we also have dinner specials every night, so it's well worth it. Oh, and party rooms. All right, so we're going to start this off today with a, I don't even know what to call it, pickle martini. We're going to have a little bit of olive juice in there. I'm not going to do the vermouth. We're going to start with one shot of vodka. Any kind will do. Not flavored, preferably, because this is, I don't know what it's going to taste like. So this is pickle juice. We're going to put that in there. And I'm going to actually measure this a little bit. I know that's shocking. All right, this is a tablespoon. So I'm going to put you know, just in case it's good, I want to know what I did. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. And then let's do one tablespoon of olive juice because I do like a dirty martini. But everybody keeps saying pickle, 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 pickle. So and we're going to do this shaken not stirred. Go. And then if you don't have a strainer, which I don't know where mine is, we're going to use our cup as a strainer. All right. So we'll garnish it just so it'll look pretty. I can get a pickle out. Bottom. All right. Now let's taste it and see what we got here. <clears throat> it's definitely good. Could be scary because you can't taste the vodka at all. But uh, as far as martinis go, it might be uh, the best one that I've ever had. So. We'll put that aside because I have to cut things and we'll start with our meal. First thing we're going to do is cut up all of our vegetables. And you know me, you can use any vegetables that you want. Try to make them oh, consistent in size just because we're going to do a whole lot of work for this. Well, actually, I take that back. Just kidding. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do our puff pastry first. We slide down here. I'm coming back here. All right. This, as everybody knows, is puff pastry, and we are going to do two different cuts just in case one doesn't work. And I have not pre-done any of this, so you will definitely see if it works or it doesn't work. So you just take a glass or a rolling pin if you have one. We're gonna roll it out just a touch, not too much. And then we're gonna cut it, the knife, this will probably work. And we're gonna take this and do like a square. That's gonna be one, one form of it. And then we're going to shake off that, use the side that doesn't have the flour on it, and then we're going to put that in the thing over there. And so the second one that we're going to do, see if it works, we're going to cut a square in here, and then we're going to make it like this is going to rise, but we're going to make a center to where this comes this way. And I don't know if y'all like puff pastry. This is what we use at the restaurant for our pot pies. 
and we put it on top of it and make like a little thing so it has like a little capping but it's not it's really light and so we're going to take put a JJ on here and see if that works and we'll have two different presentations for our food all right next thing is we're going to get our pan whoopsie hopefully that didn't break and we're going to take this and spray the pan just so it doesn't stick. And take your puff pastry with the flour side down like that. And we're going to do one more of the bigger ones. Well, we'll just throw it all on there just to see if we need that. So put that over there. And if you want it to get really golden brown, we are going to top it with an egg yolk. So this, if you don't have one of those fancy splitters, you just take your egg yolk, pop it like that, and go from one of your eggshells to the other. That's why there's two out. <laughs> go from one eggshell to the other. Sometimes it takes a whole carton, if you know what I mean. Try to get as much of the white out as you can, and then you're going to use this as like your vessel for it. Just pop the egg. Really simple. Don't get anything dirty unless you have to. And then take your egg, wash, and go all over top of it, just like that. You can use a brush if you want, but it's really not necessary. Pour a little bit on there, rub it around. Put it in a 350-degree oven. And then by the time this is done, our vegetables should be done. Because it takes about 10, 15 minutes at the most to cook. We're going to check it in seven, just because this oven over here works really well. So we're going to go in the oven with that. And I just have it on a regular bake cycle, not the convection like I normally use. And then we're going to trade this out. or a clean cut board, and we're gonna work on the shrimp. Take your pan and get it warm. Medium high heat is good, because you don't wanna burn the butter and the garlic. Let your pan get hot. You got your butter here. We're gonna start with the garlic and the onion. And I have a little bit bigger shrimp here, because we're, we're gonna butterfly the tail. So it fans out nice and cooks evenly. These are uh, white shrimp, not tiger. I like those best. And we're gonna use quite a bit of garlic. We're gonna make a garlic cream sauce. And I'm gonna show you how easy this is. And if you have, you can do this with anything. If you don't have shrimp, do chicken. Or you can even do scallops. It's so versatile. Once you get down how to make the sauce, how to get all the ingredients incorporated together, it's simple. And these are all the things that I'm trying to show people to do. Most of the questions that I get from the customers that have been coming into the restaurant, I'll go out and say hi to them at the tables. And they ask me questions about how, you know, how do you make a cream sauce? How do you just whip it all together? And it's, it's so simple if you know the right steps to do. So we're going to put the garlic in there, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of butter, probably two pats. We're going to start with two pats. All right. This is where our shrimp are going to go. So we're going to start taking the shrimp with a little knife right here, and we're going to just cut down to where it fans out like that. You don't want to cut all the way through it. You literally just want to go so it sits like that. And back when I was a little girl at Ippies, five years old, I used to peel shrimp by the 30-gallon barrel. Of course, it had shells and tails on it. Long story short, my brother used to mess with me, Tommy, and the cooks there and tell me that the end of the shrimp tail was poison and that if I ever got poked by one that I would probably die. 
So, you know, time went by, and then one day, sure enough, there's a shrimp tail sticking out of my finger, and I'm running through the restaurant on a 400-seater evening on a Saturday, screaming to my father that I'm going to die. Needless to say, the cooks got an earful that evening, and I don't, of course, remember this whole story, but all of my relatives and everybody that worked there for years and years and years told me about it afterwards. Yeah, those were some big days back in the day. Sonny and Cher visited. Um, the, uh, the, I'm not sure if it was the Gatlin brothers or who, but we have menus signed by them. Let me get this to this. And in case you don't no have noticed, this induction oven is very, very fast. Because normally, I can peel this amount of shrimp in no time before that's ready. But no, the garlic's ready for me. All right. So I'm going to go in here with the shrimp. Actually, that's perfect. And this is the pan that we're going to put the cream sauce in. So now we're going to go and take the vegetables. and put them in the other pan. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on and get it good and hot. So we're gonna let that get, cause we're gonna like quick cook these so they're not cooked too much. We're gonna break down an onion. Remember we're gonna do squares, cubes. So we're just chop through that, turn it over, give it another little hit, throw it in the pan. And it is already sizzling. Got to love that oven. I mean, that stove. A little olive oil. Throw in the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, we're going to use them all. They cook down. And then we're going to break down this pepper. Keep an eye on your shrimp. Remember, 140 or to where they aren't clear anymore. If you're not sure, use your instant read always. Go back through here. Try to keep the same size consistent. Through there. That's all we're going to use of that. There we go. And we're going to put the asparagus in last because I don't know about y'all, but I like for my asparagus to still be a little crunchy. And see, ooh, don't want that. When you're doing all this, as you can see, I'm moving a little faster than normal. This is when your sous chefs come in hand. You need to have people in your family involved in your cooking. They, kids love to do this. And I was just at the farm this weekend, and my little five-year-old sous chef was helping me cut up vegetables and all sorts of things. All right, so we have plenty of garlic in here, so we're not going to use any garlic salt or anything like that. We're mainly going to season these vegetables. So we're going to go in here with some salt, a little Italian seasoning. We're going to put that. Make sure you use a separate spoon to stir your vegetables other than stuff like if you had chicken in here, just to make sure that you don't have any cross-contamination because like I said, the asparagus is gonna go in last. And if it isn't cooked quite as much as the other, we don't want anything to happen. You just always gotta be careful. All right. So we're going in here with this. The shrimp are almost ready. Let's check the puff pastry. Puff pastry is almost ready. This is going to come together all at the same time. Didn't even plan it. Almost going to be perfect. So see how this over here, some of these are done and some of these aren't. These shrimp are so big, you're going to actually have to turn them over. And that's a key part 
on people asking me, why are my shrimp rubbery? You have to put the parts that are not done down into the, the uh, butter mixture so that it all cooks evenly, because you don't want to overcook them. Now I'm going to get a temperature of one of these that are ready, just to make sure. And of course, we're at 140. Some of these are not at 140, but you can tell, I don't know if you can see this, this gray part right here, that is not done, so we're gonna turn it down and cook it more. Meanwhile, vegetables are rolling. And since this is done, I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in here. All that's gonna cook. because I don't need quite that much in there, but I need a little bit more juice in here. If you see how I just fixed that, because the, the vegetables weren't cooking down. Um, you need to have enough moisture to absorb into the mushrooms and such, so it'll, it could cook down and not just like get crispy totally on the outside. Kind of like when you're cooking ro uh, potatoes in a pan with onions and stuff, you want it to have enough moisture. I mean, you don't want it to have too much moisture because you want those to be crispy. And if you want it faster, get a little bit of water, strain it off, put some butter. All right, this is gonna work out perfect. All right, shrimp are done. We're gonna turn this down. And then we're gonna come in here with the cream. This is heavy whipping cream. And we're probably gonna put like half a cup you figure this is 16 ounces, so a leg fourth. We're going to let that boil. You're going to throw some tarragon in there, which is always good. Let's get some parsley flakes. And as you're going, when you're learning, you're cooking and learning to do all this, as you don't know this, but I kind of wing things a lot. And I like to do that because we don't, we can't really do that at the restaurant because, you know, consistency is the key to success. And let's get that in there. All right. So I am going to check the puff pastry. And then when we come back from commercial break, we're going to pull it out and put it all together. So we'll see you soon. Thank you. Everyone's doing it. Follow your neighborhood network on social media. See news live as it happens. See more local content. Your neighborhood network proudly serving Martinsville and Henry County. Are you looking for great food and entertainment? Ippy's Restaurant is the place to be. We have been serving local communities since 1919 with made-from-scratch entrees and specialty dishes like our famous Oyster Rockefeller, smoked prime rib, and hand-carved filet mignon. We have a great selection of menu items that are all made to order for your everyday dining or special occasions. We also offer private rooms, catering services, and have a wonderful assortment of local bands that play in the lounge. Ippy's Restaurant and Lounge, 1760 North Main Street, Rocky Mountain. Jody's Kitchen is brought to you in part by the Harvester Performance Center. World-class entertainment year-round. Harvester Performance Center, downtown Rocky Mount. Visit harvester-music.com.
Everything we have is right here in town. Uh, if we don't have it at this location, we have several of the stores that we are definitely in communication with, of which, you know, myself or anyone would be happy to drive no matter the distance to get what exactly you're looking for, whether it be a color or a case or a phone. Well, the great thing about us is we're current members of the Chamber of Commerce. A lot of our employees are local. We are, we've been here, we're from here, been here seven years and established a great relationship with the community. So we look forward to serving the community and actually have being an impact in the community. You know, people come over every day. They want to stop in to Kroger and pick up a few things or right next door to our one main financial location, you know, or even Suntan City, people who come over for their everyday needs. You know, so it's, it's definitely a high volume just for convenience alone. You know, you pop over to Kroger and, and get gas or you want to stop by, you know, your local restaurant down the street and get a bite to eat. You know, we're right there within arm's reach of it all. You've got it all at your fingertips. Video, email, music, and now BTW21, your neighborhood network. The all-new BTW21.com. Local news at your fingertips. Welcome back to Jody Jean's Kitchen. We are going to final up our shrimp and garlic sauce with our sauteed vegetables and our puff pastry. And don't forget the wonderful pickle martini that we made. Right now, we are going to get our cream sauce ready. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the vegetables because they're ready. Our cream sauce has right now cream, garlic, and butter. And we're going to add four pieces of Havarti cheese because nothing can go wrong as long as you have that in there. And we turned off the, whoopsie. We turned off the heat to let it just incorporate just a little bit. And we're gonna go over here while we're doing this and pull out the puff pastry. And boy, does that look beautiful. There we go. So right now, I'm gonna take this. We're gonna do two presentations here. One of them, that's gonna be hot, so. Yes, that is. Even my fingers felt that. All right. See, so we're gonna put this guy right here, and then we're gonna top him with that one. The JJ did not work out, like it does at the restaurant. And then on the other one, we're gonna take him and give him a little poke and just fill him up. Right though. All right, now the sauce is getting nice and thick and yummy. There we go. And we're gonna go start straining off the vegetables and incorporating them in there with it. Now you might not eat all of them, but like I said, if this is left over, Put it with eggs in the morning, cheese. Oh, there's so many things. Leftover central. If you have a problem with leftovers, give me a call because we eat leftovers here every day. Because, you know, I have a cooking show. <laughs> All right. Now, this is nice and incorporated. So now I have to go in here and taste this. Let's see if I have enough seasoning in here. Before we plate, it's very important. It needs a little salt. Definitely. Salt. Okay, there we go. Stir that around. And I forgot to put the asparagus in there, but like I said, it's okay. 
we'll use that for breakfast. All right, now we are going to plate this beautiful dish. First one we're going to do is this one. Make sure you get the shrimp and all of it in your little cubby. Get some, make sure you get the juice in there. It's going to run out the sides. And then we're going to top it with our puff pastry. And never forget the Parmesan. There's one. There we go. And the second one, we're just going to fill on the inside. Like a little cubby. Not sure which one's going to be better, but I think they're both going to be delicious. Make sure you get the sauce over there and then top it. And then we're going to go in here with a delicious taste and see how wonderful this all came together. And it's probably going to be hot. It just melts in your mouth. Truly delicious. Maybe one of the best ones I've winged together. But I want to thank you for tuning in. And please don't forget to share the videos. Thank you for all of your positive reinforcement and for watching. And it's Jody Jeans, Jody.jeans at gmail.com or Jody Thomas Jeans on Facebook. And Jody Jeans Kitchen on YouTube. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Jody's Kitchen is brought to you in part by the Harvester Performance Center. World-class entertainment year-round. Harvester Performance Center, downtown Rocky Mount. Visit harvester-music.com. Hi, I'm Derek with Wireless Zone, Verizon Wireless, a premium authorized retailer. Come by and see us for all of your great cell phone needs and concerns. We're located over in the Kroger Plaza. That address is 400 Old Franklin Turnpike Road. Or give us a call at our store, 540-352-3950. Well, we've been for seven years now serving the great town of Rocky Mount. We're locally owned, locally operated, and we're here for all of your cell phone needs. Again, that's 352-3950, located over in the Kroger Plaza. Come and see us. Are you looking for great food and entertainment? Ippy's Restaurant is the place to be. We have been serving local communities since 1919. With made from scratch entrees and specialty dishes like our famous Oyster Rockefeller, smoked prime rib and hand carved filet mignon, we have a great selection of menu items that are all made to order for your everyday dining or special occasions. We also offer private rooms, catering services and have a wonderful assortment of local bands that play in the lounge. Ippy's Restaurant and Lounge, 1760 North Main Street, Rocky Mountain. You've got it all at your fingertips. Video, email, music, and now BTW21, your neighborhood network. The all-new BTW21.com. Local news at your fingertips.